welcome back to another video here on my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be doing another Call of Duty commentary, and for today's commentary, I'm going to be talking about everything that you want to know about the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Days of Summer event. So yeah, now that I got the intro out of the way, let's actually dive right into the commentary. So if you guys actually did not know, yesterday, the time you're recording this video, which is July 31st, kicked off the first day of the Days of Summer event. Now, we actually had this event last year, the time you're recording this video, and the Days of Summer event was from Modern Warfare Remastered, Infinite Warfare, as well as Black Ops 3, and this year is going to be available in Call of Duty World War 2, Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered, as well as Black Ops 3. So in today's video, I'm only going to be talking about what's going on in Black Ops 3. Maybe in tomorrow's video, I might be talking about what's going on in Call of Duty World War 2. Now, I just want to preface this by saying that since Call of Duty World War 2 is the newest Call of Duty game at the time you're recording this video, it's going to be getting the most content added in as a part of the Days of Summer event. However, Black Ops 3 is getting a lot of cool stuff, so let's get started. Now, the first thing that's going to be going on, and that's going to be the featured playlist. Now, Days of Summer has started on July 31st, 2018, and it's going to be ending on August 28th, 2018, and throughout that month, there are going to be several different double XP, as well as double crypto keys, as well as double weapon XP throughout a bunch of different game modes throughout the entire event, as well as another thing that's very interesting, and that's going to be Call of Duty Black Ops 3 DLC 1 is going to be completely free for the entire Days of Summer event, which means that if you don't already have Call of Duty Black Ops 3 DLC 1, you're going to be able to play it for the entire event. The third thing that I'm going to be talking about in this video, and that's going to be limited time camos are going to be coming back into the game. The first one that we saw is going to be Cherry Fizz. Now, Cherry Fizz was a limited time camo that we originally saw for Days of Summer in 2017. It's going to be coming back in the Days of Summer event this year and it's going to be available in supply drops for the next week. Now, this is only the first camo that has come back. We don't know all the camos that are going to be coming back into the supply drop system for Days of Summer. However, chances are at one point or another, we're going to be seeing other camos such as Into the Void or the Empire camo that released roughly at the same time as the Cherry Fist camo. So yeah, the new event for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 looks really amazing, especially since Black Ops 3 is going to be three years old in November and there's still going to be new content coming to the game. So yeah, that's going to conclude today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to drop a like on it down below as well subscribe and turn on post notifications so that way you don't miss a new upload from me. We are on the grind to 1,000 YouTube subscribers. So if you guys would like to subscribe, that would really help me out. So yeah, that's going to conclude today's video. I hope to see you in the next one.